So it's all about wine, 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 jam, 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 lavishness, everything about the flesh. You understand? Bring it, please, sir. Right. This is Ephesians chapter 2 verse 2 It says We're in time past We walk according to the course of this world According to the prince of the power of the air The spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience It says amongst whom also We all had our conversation in time past In lust of our flesh fulfilling the desires of the flesh of the mind and were by nature the children of wrath even as others right i know i like how i like how you brought on that scripture that was in the spirit because here was the next part it says being in the last day of the litur litur liturgical season historically known as shrovatai before pen tin quintennial season of Lent, right? Continue, like I guess that means going back to what? Repentance and what? Well, you, you, you're, paying, well, you're, you're paying for your sins, right? Yeah. You're sacrificing for your sins, right? Um, related to popular practices such as indulging in food and one sacrifices and without indulging in food that one sacrifices for the upcoming 40 days, right? So, like the pentinia, like the sacrifice that we had to make, we, we lock in all food, but Pre prior um, preceding locking off the food, what we do, we're gonna um, partake and gorge, not me, sorry, the two toes and the heathens, they, they partake and they gorge in the food. They, you know what, what we know that what food food does what nourishes the flesh, right? And what we are about living in the spirit, not the flesh. And even the, even the food that we're supposed to eat, supposed to what cleanse the flesh and empower the spirit, right? According to the dietary laws. And according to the law of the Most High, going even back to Genesis, it says what? Let every um, let the, let every green tree be what be meat unto you. Be, let the herbs be food unto you, meat unto you, right? So if we do, if we eat the right thing, we'll be more in the spirit. But what they listen to, listen to the things that they eat for sure, be tight or pancake day or show of Tuesday or Carnival Tuesday, right? It says the um. It says the sac the sacrifices for the upcoming 40 days associated with Shrove Tuesday celebration. Before commencing the fasting and religious oblations associated with Lent, the term Mardi Gras is French for Fat Tuesday, right? Referring to the practice of the last night of eating richer, fatty foods before the ritual of fasting of the Lenten season, which begins on Ash Wednesday. Now, guess what? We're not even supposed to eat the fat. We're not supposed to eat the fat. We're not supposed to eat the, um, the blood, right? We're not supposed to eat uh, animals that was what God or, or died upon themselves, right? But guess what? The foods that are wrong for carnival, I bet you, but some dollar is abomination to the most high. Okay. All of them is abomination to the most high. Nobody is selling no herbs around the savannah. <laughs> you understand? But I could say real quick. Go ahead. One of the years for carnival going by there, there was for the. Um, was that some cleaners just come and clean after the carnival? They was getting after that dog parts, dog head, dog this and dog that. You know? Yeah. Right. The next article I'm going to read, or the next uh, name I'm going to go into is Mardi Gras. It's a holiday, the day before Ash Wednesday, right? They said um, Mardi Gras celebrations in, on, in um, New Orleans, Louisiana, United States. This is, this is from the Wikipedia, right? It says uh, significant significance, right? It's, sorry, it's also called Fat Tuesday or Shrove or Shrove Tuesday. Type Christian cultural significant celebration of the period before fasting season of Lent, right? That's why this always carnival always happens before Ash Wednesday, and Ash Wednesday is not the same day every year, right? It says celebration, parades, and parties, right? And the scripture says not to live in the flesh. In the flesh is what? Um, reveling. Re um, anybody can it, who remember? I can bring it out. This is our first Corinthians chapter 10, verse 5. But with many of them, Yahweh was not well pleased, for they were overthrown in the wilderness. Now, these things were our examples to the intent that we should not lust after evil things 
as they also lost it. Neither be idolaters as were some of them, as it is written, the people sat down to eat and drink and rose up to play. All right? And that is what they're doing this. They're eating and drinking and, and playing, playing the world. Going about, you know, dancing, doing over the, over wickedness, dancing with another man, wife, whatever the case is. That, is. that is basically what they're doing. Rising up and to play. And the Lord sort of has wickedness. Huh. All right? Just, I ain't finished, but I just want to bring out one, some precept. This is um, Ecclesiastes 19, verse 2. Wine and women will make men of understanding to fall away. And he that cleaveth unto harlot shall become impudent. So, wine and woman, that is what's going on for carnival. Wine and woman, and that is um, it's just adul adulterous acts going on. Alright? And those spirit, the spirit of adultery around the heavy. God. You understand? The spirit of adultery around the heavy, and that is actually causing people to just go further and further away from the most side. Right, and but the Lord said that well, we could be a light to the Gentiles, so hopefully, it have you know, you know, brothers, hopefully, hopeful members that he let my see videos like these and and keep the self from committing such heinous acts. All right, hey, I before this truth, I used to partake in it, but I'm glad the Lord saw it fit to, to wake me out of that slumber and bring me into this marvelous light. Okay. Right, going back to um, first Corinthians 10. 10 verse 8 it says neither let us commit fornication as some of them committed and fell in one day three hundred and three and twenty thousand neither let us tempt so like a prayer however shame you shy that that happens this carnival mm -hmm. that it'd be double because there'd be millions out here celebrating yeah i pray it'd be double that three and twenty thousand now over shame you shy here hear my prayer can't, can't. Who knows a big truck probably could um drive through the mass like what um happening um uh, France. France. I, think I just France. said that last yeah. year I did a video concerning the same carnival, but it just was a news a news article. Huh. I can't remember the, the, the country. But a girl left America and went I can't remember Saint Lucia. But she left America and went carnival and one of the Caribbean islands. And you know what happened? From eyewitnesses. Mm -hmm. Not even eyewitness. Somebody saw the here was pop. I already looked down, the truck Pressure. rolled over this girl. Hmm. Kill her on the spot. Can't, but what happened last year? The Japanese girl came down. Yeah. The um. rape and kill her. Yeah. yeah. Almost finished. She said, Neither let us tempt Mashiach yeah. as some of them tempted and were destroyed of serpents. Yeah. You understand? So, yeah. hey, we, we, we can't be tempting the Lord by doing this. We, we can't say, hey, well, um, Yahweh Shai. Go make intercession for us and pray for us yeah, so we, we can liberty, we are yeah, grace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are live, yeah, we are liberty, we are grace, so we could do whatever we want. The scripture yeah. says make no provision for this for the flesh. That's right. It's um first Peter chapter two, verse seven and nine. But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye should show forth the praise of him who had called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. It said, oh. which in time past were not a people but are now the people of Yahweh, which had not obtained mercy but now have obtained mercy can it says which had not obtained mercy but now obtained mercy now going back to what israel pursuing to hosea chapter one mm -hmm. all right because one time the lord didn't have anything to do with us all right but now the lord through his, through, through his son took us back all right so so now we obtain we obtain mercy to the Lord, but we can't go back and do the things that we was doing. Then we we, we crucify Yahweh Shai to the what? cross afresh. Huh. That is why he said, "Let us tempt not the uh, uh, Mashiach." Huh. Right? Um, I just want to read something here real quick. Okay. Let's find it. Um, yeah, what? Read. It says, "Verse eleven, dearly beloved." I beseech you as strangers and pilgrims as abstain from fleshly lust which war against the soul right abstain from fleshly lust which war against the soul right I jump in across the first Peter chapter 4 verse 1 for as much then as Mashiach had suffered for us in the flesh arm yourselves likewise with the same mind for he that had suffered in the flesh had ceased from sin that no longer should that he should no longer live in the rest of his time in the flesh 
to the lust of men, but to the will of Yahweh. For the times past of our life, many suffice us to have wrought the will of the Gentiles, right? When we walk in lavishness, lust, excess of wine, revilings, banquetings, and abominable idolatry. Banquetings. Rival, revilings. Re yeah, revilings. Wine, right? And there's plenty of idolatry there too. Yeah, Bacchanal, because yeah. that's just in this song, I love Bacchanal. She's the queen of Bacchanal. Yeah. That's, Which her, that's, she, that's the title she called upon herself. Which Damnation. goes back to Bacchus. Bacchus, right? Which yeah. goes back to Di Dionysus. Which, Dionysus. Which, which, which yeah. we're going to bring out. Right? Because um, yeah. they said that which at, at time wasn't a people. Yeah. So it wasn't considered the Lord's people. No. Right? We were heathen, going after the ways of the heathen. There's um, Philmon, Philmon, verse 10 and 11. I beseech thee for my son, Onesimus, which I have begotten in my bonds, which in time past was to thee unprofitable, but now profitable to thee and to me. Yeah, because Philemon, uh, Onesimus was a um, slave of Philemon, right? He was a Hebrew, but he was wicked, right? But Paul ministered unto him in jail. He was, a, he was in jail with, with, with Paul, right? So he said, in time past, and then he was, Paul was telling him, when he, re, when he received him back, Receive him as though he received Paul, a son of uh, uh, Paul himself, because what? Paul took him on as an understudy and he, he taught him and he understood and he I guess he repented and he went back to Philemon. But well, he, was, he, was, he was supposed to go back to Philemon, right? Yes, because what I brought some brothers, um, I'll give acknowledgement because I learned this from uh, a, a video that I watched with um, Brother Yashawamba and um, some other brothers from Arkansas camp and the brothers broke it down, right? Right? And as I said, he was unprofitable. So uh, we were unprofitable at one time. But then through the Spirit of the Lord, we we, 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 we were taught this word. And now we be profitable unto the Lord. Man, I can even attest that even when I was out there, it always felt like a heavy, like a heaviness. It's like you know you're doing something wrong. You understand? It's like, yeah, you, yeah you're enjoying yourself. But like, it's like you have something in the back of your mind saying, hey, you're doing something wrong. Conscience. Your conscience is really spirit. spirit, I guess. Right. So that was it? Yeah, that is it, that is it. Yeah, this is um what are you saying now? Uh, we reading again Mardi Gras, right? We have Mardi Gras. Minutes, right, so Mardi Gras is also related up to Shrove Tuesday, Carnival, Shrove Monday. Right? So let's 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 say Shrove Monday real quick because we run out of time, right? Shrove Monday. So this is our next occult or pagan day, right? It says Shrove Monday, the Monday before Ash Wednesday. This year is going to be what? February 27. So Shrove Tuesday is going to be 28, and February 27 is going to be Shrove Monday. The two days that we normally celebrate as Carnival Monday and Carnival Tuesday here in Trinidad, right? It says Shrove Monday, sometimes known as Kulu or Kolo. Right? Monday, Rose Monday, or Merry Monday, or Hall Monday. So these are certain names that they can throw out because it's just scattered abroad. So most likely, Israel is a part of the denomination wherever it's celebrated in Germany, in France, in Sweden. It's most likely out of Israel that they came from, right? Is the Monday before Ash Wednesday every year. The part of the English tradition Shrovatai celebration week before Lent, the Monday precedes Shrove Tuesday, right? So you see why it's always Monday and Tuesday, and you see why now it's always before Ash Wednesday, right? As the Monday before Ash Wednesday is a part of the diverse carnival celebration, which takes place in many parts of Christian world, of the Christian world, from Greece to Germany to Mardi Gras and Carnival of the Americas. Right? Um, I don't know. It's, it's, it's plenty of information, but we 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 running um, lack of time. Time, right? So when, when you're reading, um, when you're reading along. Carnival celebrated in Germany as Rose Monday. It's called Rose Montag. That's the German Rose Montag, right? It says what is the highlight of the German Carnival of Carnival. That's how they pronounce it in Germany, I guess. And is is on the Shrove Monday, Monday before Ash Wednesday, the beginning of Lent. Mardi Gras, though celebrated on Tuesday, is sim is a similar event. Rose Montage is 
They celebrated in German-speaking countries, including Germany, Austria, Switzerland, Belgium, um, Ukraine, and most heavily, oh, Slovakia, Slovakia, yeah, and most heavily in Hock, Hockburg, Bergen, cannibal strongholds, which include Ryland and right. Well, let's go on, right? But um, one of the who they make the cakes too on Pancake Monday and uh, Pancake Monday and Pancake Tuesday was a god a god yes sir was, Dion, was Dionysus or oh, no sorry Jarello a god by the name of Jarello is a Slavic god Jarello uh, a Slavic god of vegetation and springtime what what time what time what time is spring February to March that is the beginning of the year. Huh. Yes, let me say this. Now, that's showing you that cannibal really originated out of what? Idolatry, huh. worshipping other gods. Huh. Yeah. But you know what they would say? Well, that's how it originates. Huh. But we keep it as just a celebration. It has nothing to do with worshipping other gods. But as the scripture brought out earlier on, who can bring a clean thing out of an unclean? Huh. Huh. If that is where it originated from, that is where it is. You can't turn it into nothing else. That is what it is. Yeah. Alright? Yeah. It, it, it worshiping other gods. Despite we take parts of it or half of it or the whole, that is where it is. It goes back to pagan worship. The significance. And they said they're baking cakes and stuff, right? Huh. This is Jeremiah um, 7 verse 17 and 18. Right? It says, See us thou not what they do in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem. The children gather wood and the father kill in the fire and the woman lead their dough to make cakes huh. to the queen of heaven and to pour drink offerings unto other gods that they may provoke me to anger. Huh. Right? So Jarello is one of the other gods. Right? Is he god he he will he or she was a god Jarello identification as a mischievous god may involve the ability of shape shifting. Right? This is seen in in other mis mischievous pagan deities such as Proteus, Loki, and well himself one of one of one took the form of a horse, right? He is also um, identified with who? King Saint George. So what in the in the Catholic in the Catholic religion what they have a Saint George, right? Who also goes back to who? The identification identification. He's also identified with who? Dionysus. Now Dionysus is a pagan god of what fertility and um, the forest, youth and vegetation, right? So all this, all this uh, revelry is, um, is is reminiscent of the pagan worship of these gods, right? So you're taking part and parcel of something that is worshiping an idol, an idol god, right? So you can look it up, Saint George, Jarello, and Dionysus, they all they all the same people who in cross what you the pagan Roman and the pagan Greek, right? And then coming down into what? Um Saint George. Saint George is was the last it was last identified as Saint George. Uh, uh, that will come across into Catholicism. It even goes across into Islam. It even goes across into Islam. Right? So the information there, brothers, can search it out. First Thessalonians 5, 21 say what? Prove all things and move faster than which is good. So you can search it out, right? For the lack of time, we cut it off. Right? So we pray that the lesson was um, edifying, right? And we give all praise and say, how about Shemiel, Shai, the Brown and Apostles, and the Elders, salutations to the brothers on the four corners of the earth. Mm -hmm. and, um, keep at it, you know, don't give up, don't quit, you know? Hold fast to what? Hold fast to what you have. Alright, Shalom. 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 Shalom.